time with the news where you live. 8 News starts now. Dementia is a big problem uh, in the United States. Tonight, VCU Health is at the forefront of a groundbreaking trial that could revolutionize care for a rare type of dementia, a condition that's often mistaken for Alzheimer's. You're watching 8 News at 530. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Heather Hope. For decades, patients with normal pressure, hydrocephalus or NPH, have faced a daunting reality, a single invasive treatment option, which you see here. But now there could be a new treatment option on the horizon and 8 News reporter Madison Moore joins us in the Digital Center with details. Madison, good evening. Well, Eric, Heather, good evening to you both. VCU Health is now in the second phase of the trial, which began several months ago to determine if this less invasive alternative goes to market. Normal pressure hydrocephalus is fluid that surrounds the brain and if the fluid collections inside of the brain build up. For the last 60 years, there's only been one way to treat NPH, by drilling a hole in the skull, draining the fluid using a VP shunt. According to the Alzheimer's Association, about 700,000 Americans have it, and only 20% are actually diagnosed. It is a condition that is significantly underdiagnosed uh, and it is treatable. Leading this trial is Dr. John Reavy Cantwell, a VCU health brain surgeon. He's performing the new less invasive treatment being tested, the e shunt, which is instead inserted through a vein in the leg. Patients will randomly receive one of the two devices. This trial is going to put the e shunt directly against the VP shunt, the older technology. NPH generally affects the older population. Symptoms include losing control of your bladder, trouble lifting your feet up, and personality changes. We all know as we get older, we develop other medical problems, it becomes riskier for, to have an operation. And But to have a less invasive alternative is very, very exciting. Last Friday, VCU Health was the first hospital in the world to perform the new e-shunt treatment option. And over the next year, researchers will monitor all patient outcomes to determine which device performs better. Live in the Digital Center, I'm Madison Moore, 8 News.